This might be the quickest way to make a repeating pattern in Canva. I've already shown you two popular methods, but this one, it's the sneaky shortcut I wish I'd known sooner. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catter Day. Let's get to it. These two videos are the ones I've shared before, and they turned out to be the most popular videos on my channel. Now I'm going to show you one more method that you can add to your toolkit. If you miss them, I will drop the links down in the description. Both the methods still work, but this new method, it is definitely the fastest. I'm going to use the same basic pattern that I did in my first two videos, just so you can follow along easier. I added some elements to my page and it just has a teal background. For the size of the file, I have it at 3000 by 3000 pixels. If you're going to make a seamless pattern, I recommend that you make a large design size, either 3000, 4000 or 5000 pixels. That's going to give you the cleanest look for your pattern design. If you want any of your elements to come off the page so that they come together, sort of like this one where you have everything sort of merging together in a nice clean pattern, then you'll want to add a couple of the elements that go off the edge a little bit. So let me just take this word right here. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to bring it up here to the very top. And when I do that, there is this little red line that shows up at the very top of my page when I am aligning that to the top. That lets me know that that element is at the very top of my page, but it's in the middle of the element itself. If I drag it down a little bit, you'll see that red line kind of goes away. If I bring it back up, you'll see that red line shows up at the very top. That's how I know that that specific element is exactly at the halfway point. That's what you need in order to make it look like it's seamless when you create the rest of the pattern. Then you're going to duplicate that element and bring it down to the bottom of the page. Do the exact same thing where you find that red line, just drag it until you see the red line and it needs to be the solid line, not the dotted line. There we go, there's my line right there. And then take both of the elements and just make sure that you're aligning them um, horizontally so that they're on the same center point like that. When I go to start creating this pattern, now those two pieces will line up without any issue. And I think I'll add some just to the sides right here. So let me go find one more little word right here. We're going to take this. Again, I'm going to bring this over to the side and there's that line. It's very faint, but it's over there to the side. I'm going to put it right there and I'm going to duplicate this and bring it to the other side. Let's go find that line. It's there it is. There's that line right there. And then I want to make sure that both of these are in the correct alignment. So I'm going to go down to align layers and make sure that they're both in the middle like that. Now, when I create the pattern, I know that those two words are going to line up properly. Once you have all of the elements on the page the way you would like, we need to convert this page to an image. So you're going to go over to the app section and you're going to look for the app that's called Design to Image right here and it's going to convert our pattern into an image for us. You're going to click Convert Image and we only need the first page because you'll see I have a couple pages here. We only need this first page. So you're going to do page one. Now I have Canva Pro, so I'm going to make this a transparent background so that I can decide later on what colors I want the background to be. If you're on the free version of Canva, you cannot select transparent background. You can only do that in the pro version. And I'm also going to bring my size up a little bit because I want to make sure this is as clean as possible. So I'm going to double the size of the file itself. And then I will click where it says export. Once it's finished, you are ready to add it to your page. So I'm going to just add a new page and I'm going to click add to current page. There is my design with my pattern. Now we want to turn it into a pattern. In previous methods, I showed you how to use frames or how to align them. This method is way faster. Wait until you see it. Go back over to the app section and this time you want to search for the app called Replicator. We're going to click on this app and we have some options. You can make things aligned in a linear fashion, a wave, a circular. We want to use the grid method. So you're going to click on grid, select how many columns you would like. I'm going to select three and I'm going to do three rows. 
Take the horizontal space and make it zero because we don't want any gap. And take the vertical space and make that zero as well. You can kind of see a preview of it right here at the very top. Down here, you have some additional options if you like. You can rotate it or maybe give it a skew. I don't really want to do it that way. I'm going to leave it just like it is. I'm going to add a new page and then I'm going to add this to my design page. There is the pattern that fast. It's so much quicker than the other two methods and it's exactly seamless. I know that many of you that have watched my videos in the past with these two methods that I had before had issues with it lining up or had issues where you had that little white line in the middle. This solves that problem. There is no more white line that separates everything. It just creates a nice clean pattern. Now that you have this, you can bring them to any of your print on demand services to create maybe some fabric or some pillows or notebooks or anything else like that. So let's go over to one of my favorite platforms and we're going to create something. I am now on the free website Printify. It's a great platform for any type of print on demand content. Go over to catalog and decide what you'd like to print. So I will choose a pillow. I'll select this one here. And then you're going to click where it says start designing. It's going to open a template for you and we need to bring our design from Canva over here to Printify. So go back to Canva and you need to download your design. So click on share, click download. Because I have Canva Pro, I am going to make it a transparent background. That way later on, if I want to change the colors at all, I can do that. And then I'm also going to increase the size so that I get a nice clean version when I bring it over to create that pillow. And then you'll click download and we're going to bring it into Printify. Once it's downloaded, you'll just drag and drop it right on top of the screen. Here is that pattern. Now you'll notice that it has some empty spaces here on either side. We need to do one more step to make sure that this creates the pattern through the whole design. So go up here to the menu bar. You've got some menu options up here. And right here you have this option that says pattern. This is a quick pattern maker right inside of Printify. When you click on it, it's going to add the rest of the pieces to your pattern and everything is completely seamless. You can also make it a little bit smaller or larger. So I could drag it down and make it a smaller pattern, or I could make it larger and make it a bigger pattern, whatever you'd like to do with this. Once you're satisfied with it, then you can also change the size option. So go over here to select your sizes. I think I'll do 20 by 20. And I want to make the background color of the pillow as well. I don't want a white one. So I'm just going to put one of my brand colors. There's my color right there. And my pattern is now ready to print on this pillow. If you want to see a preview, go up here to the preview box and it will give you some fun mock-ups that let you see exactly what it's going to look like. There is the pillow with the seamless pattern that we created in Canva in just a few clicks. This method is so crazy fast. I absolutely love it. So go out there, make some patterns and go earn some passive income with some print on demand products. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.